Hello, my fellow hunters. Just a quick one, because I know you love it. Arch-tempered Valhazark has finally hit stores today. Buy yours now. It's a little bit past expiry date. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Gotta do a bit of remodeling, a little bit of a repaint. Uh, disclaimer, do not try and paint an Elder Dragon. Do not approach an Elder Dragon with a can of paint and try and buy paint to the Elder Dragon. The company takes no responsibility and you do so at your own risk. We are not liable for any kind of paint related to Elder Dragon injuries that you may or may not receive, especially when it comes out of Valhazar. Thank you. Please read terms and conditions. But alas, no special conditions to unlocking him or anything like that. He's just bobbed on your event quest board, so go have a little bash. You got two weeks from, well, now... As for the fight itself, it's surprisingly a steep step up. Obviously, Tempered to Arch Tempered is intended to be a steep step up, and it was like Blitz Nuke one shot city with Kirin, and Val's not as bad. You can certainly take a hit, but you are going to get chunked for 80% of your health bar, even with upwards of 600 armor. The big one, though, is his Miasma Ticks. The constant little chip damage from being near him is huge now. You get worn down fast. If you don't have a health orb, with constant hits or a way to keep yourself sustained or enough dragon seal to keep him locked down from doing it you're actually going to be in trouble he's a serious war of attrition and i'd say having level 3 miasma resistance is almost mandatory he is a surprisingly refreshing fight i think he's still easier than even tempered kirin but i will say that he is comfortably actually well fun he is sit up level that is right Arch-tempered Valhazark is worth sitting up straight for, and as we all know, that is when shit gets real in gaming. So, yeah, I'm actually really impressed. And there's a few little differences. He goes to sleep in the middle of a pool of acid, so you can't really do shit, the little crafty old man. And he also starts in a different area. There's no Dogra on the map. He looks really cool. You can really see the uh, metallic glow on him. I didn't notice any move differences. If they're there, they're tiny, like with arch Tempered Kirin, but no, I think Arch Val is actually a really genuinely fun step up, and I think he was a great choice for Arch Tempering. I don't think Kirin needed it. I think Tempered Kirin was fine, but Val, yeah, I'm on board. But I think the biggest benefit we get from Valhazark is the new layered armor, Death Stench. Oh yes, it's a badass looking set, especially the waist. It goes well with a lot of other pieces of armor, and I think it's going to open up some really creative builds, at least aesthetically. And I think as fashion hunters that we all are, high five! <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. I mean, maybe more than even fighting Arch-Tempered Val, so, yeah. Now, I adore Valhazark's Gamma armor. And you might be asking, but why, though? Because <laughs> that's the symbol! <laughs> the mirror is my only friend. As for his armor, it's not bad. It's certainly going to do more for the game than Kirin's did in terms of giving more people actually something to work on, mixing up the most sets, giving some new opportunities, whereas Gamma Kirin was mostly just for free element. In it. I mean, it's, it's okay, but Gamma Vel, yeah, I think we're going to see a fair amount of people playing around with this, especially if you like dragon attack. His gloves, two level two rebuff slots and three dragon attack for a dragon jewel blades, a bit of devil joe action. That's not bad. That's really solid. And the rest of him, I mean, yeah, it's just got some extra slotted. There's recovery speed everywhere. It's great for peak performance. So if you like yourself a Valhazak Vitality peak performance range build, which isn't bad at all, this is going to be really good for you. But the big thing here is... I think you can now get Valhazak Vitality constant ticking up health without really gimping yourself too much. I think it takes his armor out of the sort of gimmick immortal build, aside from a few niche ones that were actually good. But generally, that's what Val was, right? A kind of gimmicky set, which was unfortunately one of the best looking sets in the game, so you never really got to wear it. Whereas now, with a little bit of a mix of his beta and with the gamma... 
adding essentially at very little cost to your overall effectiveness, you can get the main benefit, which is looking like Valhazar armor because it's really cool. The vitality set bonus is fine, it's fun having your health going up, but it's essentially completely made redundant by a single health augment, so again, outside of niche cheesy builds, you don't really care about it anyway, but yeah, the big takeaway from this is I think we're going to see a lot more Gamma Val than we saw Gamma Kirin armor, and I think it's a really good way to let people use an aesthetically badass set of armor without really compromising too much on their core skills. So that I'm all for. I think it's going to do a lot more in terms of creative building for people than Kirin did. So yeah, thumbs up. All right, guys, just a little, you know, it's here what I initially think of the armor. I am excited to see what you do with it, though. I'd love to hear what sets you're planning, if any, down in the comments, but I will see you very soon. The probe should be on Saturday. And yeah, my name has been Josh. Like you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Oh, good boy. Rage gaming with the video flow. Well, that's all that's really relevant at the mo, but I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song, and don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.